Hey, this is Fedora. Just letting you know before we get into this, we actually did a little bonus stream, my partner's stream, uh, before the uh, VOD that this takes place in, uh, where we actually redid the first chunk of the game. Um, I will mention it a little bit on the beginning of stream here, but if you want to watch the stream for yourself, you can check it out on my partner's channel. Uh, the link is also in the description below. So if you're interested in seeing uh, a couple little, little fun details about how things changed and uh, what, what we were doing in between this VOD and uh, uh, the previous one. Uh, so it's pretty cool, so check it out. Uh, and again, the link is below. Well, welcome on in, everybody. I see, I see a couple of you guys are here already, bright and early. Uh, let's see, we got Lady Flip. Thank you so much for that resub. Uh, Ten months—that's almost a year, literally almost a year. Uh, <laughs> and also, let's give—you know—while she's here, let's give her a shout out. Shout out, Lady Flip. Whoop. Hmm. Shout out, Lady Flip. Uh, because she's now a streamer as well, so I gotta shout her out for that. Um, and she has last been playing. Yesterday she was getting back to playing Baldur's Gate 3 for her Fantasy Fridays. Uh, she's working on a Shadowheart Origin playthrough, Romancing Carlac. Uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. And she also, you know, if, if, maybe if fantasy isn't your speed, she also does sci-fi games. She's been playing, um, playing through Starfield every Sunday. And uh, on Saturday she does in Immersive Sims. I think she's also going to branch out into other kinds of games on Saturdays. Um, but as well as well playing Deus Ex, I think today she's got something special planned uh, that another user from the community uh, made. She's going to be testing out today, so stay tuned for that this afternoon. Uh, and she's that little penguin that you see in those penguin emotes that I have. Uh, if you've seen Flib Love and Flib Bonk, uh, that's who that is. <laughs> Uh, and welcome on in, Thunder That Coyote. I see you got first today. You, you've been getting first quite a lot lately. I think you're on a roll getting first. I don't know if it tracks how often people get first, but you've been on a roll with that. So <laughs> welcome on in and congr congratulations on first. Um, I also see Vesper the Bun. Uh, Vesper the Bun, who is also a PNG tuber, a little rabbit. Uh, let's shout out Vesper. Vesper the Bun, a bunny. Uh, still playing Lies of P, probably still getting your butt kicked, but you know what? That's part of the that's part of the adventure, you know? It's part of the fun. <laughs> I hope you're doing alright though. And I hope you're still having fun with it, even if it is difficult. Um Let me see, let me see. I can't do a slash shout out except for like every like two or three minutes for Twitch, so it's wait wait on that a little bit. And then I think that's all the hellos. Um uh, but also hello any lurkers and VOD watchers. Good progress today. Oh good, good. And yeah, if you if you know if anybody is not familiar with Lies of P, it's kind of a souls like it's like it's similar to things like Bloodborne and Dark Souls, uh, but it takes place in kind of a more whimsical universe. It's inspired by um like the, the Pinocchio mythos. Uh so it's got a different vibe, but it's the same it's the, the idea of the, it is the same, like very, very difficult gameplay, uh, <laughs> but lots of exploration and uh, and just f fun stuff. So I'm glad to hear that you made some progress on that today. Um, so t I am Fedorasaurus, the Stegosaurus PNG tuber. Today I am augmented <laughs> because it is Deus Saturday. We playing through the Deus Ex series one Saturday at a time. Um, and uh, if you've been keeping up with my sh Saturday streams, MJ, <laughs> MJ, you found my blushing emote. <laughs> doing MJ oh hold on before we jump in let's shout out MJ 80 um oh gosh oh no oh it, okay yeah there we go there we go oh shit, I was gonna shout out Vesper anyway we'll, we'll shout out Vesper but also <laughs> MJ 80 um MJ 80 <laughs> yeah you know it's actually cropped from <laughs> From a, a picture I drew a little while ago of uh, JC staring at Gunther's boobas, <laughs> but I thought it would be a really funny emote. So <laughs> uh, it, it is a meme, meme picture, but also very funny. Uh, but <laughs> welcome on in, MJ. Uh, how are you doing today? MJ80 is also a streamer, kind of a small streamer, I guess. Uh, maybe bigger streamer than me, but uh, small stream, smallish streamer. She plays Apex. She plays Deus Ex. There's a really funny clip of her playing. I think Human Revolution, where she snuck up on an NPC peeing and knocked him out, <laughs> which was very funny. <laughs> uh, but 
uh, but yeah, I'm trying not to watch too many of her, her Deus Ex VODs because she's she's very much further into the series than I am and I don't want spoilers. But once I do beat these games, I'm going to go back to her backlog and like watch all of her stuff. Uh, but yeah, check her out. She also does art streams sometimes uh, and she just she's a nice person and has a very like calming voice. Uh, but uh, yeah. What was I saying? That I am Fedorasaurus, Stegosaurus, P and G tuber. It is day of Saturday, and uh, uh, today we are going to be playing Deus Ex. And if you've been keeping up on my Deus Ex streams, uh, you'll well, first of all, you'll probably remember that last stream. Uh, we we. <laughs> I need to get a petting emote. <laughs> um, last stream, uh, we did find out that that we read an email that Gunther, my favorite character, was was uh, kind of mad at us. Uh, so I was like, well, you know what? I don't think Gunther's very happy with us. And also I'm kind of like disappointed that I haven't really been like, I kept accidentally killing enemies. I'm trying to go non-lethal and I was thinking about it and I was like, yeah, and I could probably do this better, but I don't really want to backtrack this whole game. I've been playing for like 20 hours. So then Lady Flip, my moderator partner, who is very familiar with Lady Flip. Oh, thank you for giving that shout out to Vesper. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, she was like, well, you know, I could do it. I could like play through the first chunk of the game for you and, and get all the, you know, uh, get play it the way you were hoping you could play it and uh, you know get Gunther's approval and get get Paul's approval and, and all this stuff so I was like I was like you know what like she's not gonna go do anything that I didn't do on my playthrough but she offered to kind of replay the first chunk of the game so if you caught her stream uh, last week she did kind of a surprise nighttime stream uh, and I was the guest star on her stream and and just replaying through the first part of the game It took her about three hours to do what it took me to do in like three weeks <laughs> So it was pretty amazing. I mean she did skip through a lot of lore because the lore is my stream uh, speed running to get all the, the stuff we want is her stream um, And she's also really good at inventory management uh, stealth so she she got me back to, back on track and uh, I'm gonna try to just play the rest of the game on my own uh, one thing that you might notice is different is we, she forgot to, well, she changed it from, she changed it back to vanilla, but it, like, it didn't take, and we didn't realize it until a little bit later, so we are actually playing on normal mode, which the only difference between normal and vanilla, as far as I know, is there's a lot of bug fixes. Uh, one of the benefits of that is that you can actually non-lethal the dogs in normal mode, which is something we wish we could do in vanilla mode, so you know what, it's kind of actually better. Uh, and a couple bug fixes here and there, it made a couple sections harder, I think, but um, I think it's more the way it was supposed to be played and um, so I'm gonna actually show you guys a couple of little clips from her stream just so you have an idea of what changed as far as the dialogue. So I'm just gonna show you guys two sections. Uh, one, the first section is what happens, what, how the dialogue changes with Paul when you actually non-lethal everybody. Um, I think in my playthrough I accidentally killed a couple NPCs. Paul's dialogue was approving but not you know, he, he was he said something like, oh, you know, thanks for using discretion, JC. Uh, you know, he was proud of us, but I think it could have been he could have been more proud of us. And here's how that dialogue changes uh, if you if you non-lethal everybody and, and Paul is, is happy with you. So let's start with that one. Uh, and we'll full screen it. Oh, wait, I should hide my avatar because now I'm covering up Effie. Hold on. Oh, now I'm shaking. Why did I do? Oh, well, hold up. <laughs> OK, let me actually move. I'll, I'll move me. I'll move me. And then we'll full screen it and we'll show you this one real quick. Turn that up. You almost killed me with that gang sticker up. Do the, the, the leader. We got the island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the east coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know Unatco handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manually will brief us shortly. Unatco make sure the limited supply. It's good to find. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I mean, he's happy with us we I'll meet you in Manderley's office, one. level two. It's not kind of quiet. Is the is the is the audio on that quad too quiet? Anyway, Paul Paul is happy with us. Oh, Fivel! <laughs> welcome, welcome, Fivel. Oh my gosh, you hopped in here while we were reviewing some stuff from Lady Flip's stream. Uh, hold on, let me see. I feel like that VOD was a little bit quiet. Uh, but but anyway, uh, yeah. So Paul Paul is happy with us. Uh, first of all, okay, it's as loud as it can get. Hmm. Okay. Well, you snuck in. Actually, I could I could crank it up a little bit more. Just crank it up in OBS. Uh, and then the, yeah, the other section that I want to show is. Um, Gunther's dialogue, which is different when you return to base. 
The volume mixer has uh, Firefox all the way up, but I can crank it up. I can crank up desktop audio in OBS. Uh, next part I want to show is when we go back to base and Gunther is happy with us, which is about... It's about... Oh, come on, let me click. It's about here. Uh, let me actually go back just a little bit more. We'll put you, we'll put you right here. Oh, it's it's a couple seconds before. Uh, all right, so this is the second next check I want to show you. So maybe you should introduce oh, yourself. wait. <laughs> Easy there, JC. Easy there, sharpshooter. <laughs> we can watch this part, too. <laughs> and, and this is kind of true to my playthrough. I would uh, lockpick with the Gep Gun if I didn't have lockpicks or if I was just not wanting to use up all the lockpicks that it required. Oh, that's Are you part sure the game. you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. I feel like that would make for a fun mod. Play as like uh, one of the janitors at the NACO HQ who's part of the plot to make sure Gunther always gets the wrong soda. My new partner, JC Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. My vision is augmented. At least it is a way that we know when it's not foul. Forgive my interruption. I just want to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarro. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I think he said something I different this time. I to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. She will not be the equivalent of her brother. I have seen that she knows the procedure of a good offensive. Let us hope you are right. I won't let you down, Agent. <laughs> yeah, he likes us this time. He's got a little bit of different dialogue if he's happy with you. Forget how Agent so I guess we did do it right, thank you Lady Flynn. I didn't realize that dialogue could be different. You should get moving. I will not forget a favor. Always have trust for me. Aww. Forget how Agent Navarra is not friendly. She has every life to give for her partner. I think that's the only one. I mean, I'd show you the other one uh, when we play today. <laughs> Here, I'm back. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to show you guys that. I thought that was a really cool. Um... Oh, Amp's here. Hello, Amp. <laughs> yes, Amp's been playing World of Horror. I am curious about that game. It also might be too creepy for me, but I might I might check that out because I uh, World of Horror is like a like a eight bit uh horror game i think something like that it's like a very like minimalistic art style uh and very creepy uh horror game but yes hello hello and hello fievel uh yeah, so we were we were just reviewing uh, what Lady Flip did to help me catch up on my uh, save file. We kind of replayed the first half of Deus Ex to make uh, Gunther like us and Paul like us. We're doing a full-on uh, non-lethal playthrough this time, and I wanted to show you guys that in case you missed Lady Flip's stream. Uh, but I would say go go check out Lady Flip, uh, check out that vod, or or check out hello delightful Dilophosaurus. Welcome on in. Uh, we're just getting all caught up. Uh, something I do like about that dialogue, uh, <laughs> where where uh, Anna is like making fun of us having like you know sunglasses on a night mission, and uh, I think on our playthrough, Gunther was saying like, "Oh, better to look cool than to help a, a fellow agent or whatever." But because he was happy with us this time, he was just like, "Well, at least this way we know it's not Paul," <laughs> which is funny because it makes me think that like. He can't really tell JC and Paul apart unless, like, you know, except for, like, JC sunglasses. So, like, if JC took his shades off mid-conversation, would he think that, like, Paul just showed up? Uh, but, yeah, I know that most of that conversation is just Paul, or, sorry, Gunther t telling us how much, how cooler we are than our brother, which is kind of annoying that he doesn't like Paul, but, like, it's also cool that he likes us, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> the Clark Kent effect, yes. <laughs> um, and I also like, I don't remember him saying, uh, I won't forget a favor. I don't remember him saying that in when I played it, which is really cute that he like really appreciates us. Um, and how he says that we know the, we know how to 
what did he say? Something about how we know how to do a, we know the procedure of a good operation or something. Like he's, even though Anna's being kind of a jerk, he's kind of siding with us. And then he kind of apologizes for Anna being mean to us, which is, it's, it's very nice. Uh, it, um, but we did find out that even though we can have Gunther have a good first impression of us, the email about him being unhappy about us doesn't change. Um, I think it was MJ who was saying that's it's more to do with him being kind of upset that like Unatko loves us and and does not love the mechs and it's not really something we did to piss him off um he's just kind of like very anxious in general about that uh so I'm you know he might not really be that happy with JC but I, I'm glad that we got that first impression at least with him so we're gonna actually uh pull up the game now we're gonna get back into it it should be pretty seamless uh from what you guys saw last time um, I think I actually saved right around the time we snuck into the interrogation room with uh, Walter Simmons or whatever his name is. <laughs> Simons. Walton Simons. <laughs> hey, Luke. Hey, Cosmonaut. Welcome, welcome. And let's go. Yeah, let's actually hop on my game screen here to see what I'm looking at. So yeah, it should be pretty seamless. Um, but yeah, you can see Lady Flip like zoomed through this first part of the game, and then she sent me the save files, and I was there watching her play and, and loud. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, one second, one second, one second. Oh gosh. It is loud. Oh gosh. Okay, how about? <laughs> how about that? That should be better. That should be better. Okay. Oh boy. Thank you for the heads up. Yeah, don't you like getting your ears blasted by the Deus Ex theme? <laughs> Alright, so last we, uh, last we left off, uh, we went to, we went back to base after our mission, and we found out that, um, there is a government official talking to you Manderley. Nothing, didn't report to Manderley. Yeah, this jerk here, um cursor outside the game window okay uh this jerk here was uh went down to the interrogate the prisoners we weren't really Your allowed turn. see what you can find out in manhattan we weren't allowed to go down there but we followed him anyways and like jumped through the door uh and he was trying to grill these guys about uh hey where's the ambrosia where the ambrosia go the real plague eating at the minds of the american people is secessionism regionalism this new arrogance and sense of entitlement i don't think you're supposed to be down here agent <laughs> um, uh, and, and these guys weren't really giving up any answers, and he was kind of alluding to, oh, well, you know, we can put Once you... the bug bites, you've already lost the patient. We can put you... Got, we, you know, the, anything, but I think you should go. The government has, like, a list of people they're going to put in camps, uh, and I'm going to put your family on the list. I know where your family lives, uh, threatening them. Do and, you have even a passing interest in doing your job? And so they didn't want to comply, so he shot them. Uh, we did try to... Yes, <laughs> but he he kind of he's kind of unhappy with us. But like, if you remember him from the intro, quit screwing around. Talking to uh, Bob Page about whatever their evil things are, evil plans. Uh, he is super well dressed though. I mean, he's hey, he's as far as evil villains go, he's pretty handsome. But we don't like Lee, him. He's scary. It. Yeah, he he pulled out a giant gun and just like shot these guys. He actually shot through me, <laughs> so he does not care about JC. Um, it's going around. <laughs> oh, I think the veins, I think that's like the augs that like JC has, like the little like little wires, like little nano things. I don't know, we tried to knock him out on my playthrough, but he's got like a force field, so you can't actually like knock him out and save these guys. Lady Flim sort of saved one of them when she was playing. Uh, she stood in front of the door and one of the guys like ran about two feet before getting it's shot, which was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, so you can't really save them, but you can try. Uh, so yeah, we're not supposed to be in here, but we had to get that lore, you know. Um, Manderley will chew us out if he finds out you were here. Don't worry about it. Can't you tell Manderley that this dude's murdering prisoners? I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. All right, well. I think Mr. Simons wants to be alone with the prisoner. I think Mr. Simons wants to be alone with the prisoner. I mean, he's just gonna stand there and be creepy. Uh, so yeah, this is the shared office for Gunther and Anna, and I. I think we might... I'll just redo some of this lore that we did last time. I'll take Anna's soda and her, her chocolate bar. Uh, oh, that's right, we don't know... We don't know 
Anna's login, but let's just... <laughs> if, I remember, if I remember right, uh, Gunther has no emails, but Anna had like a couple things. Uh, yeah, Gunther's got nothing. Uh, Anna... Uh, oh, she spelled my name wrong. Uh, oh shoot, I'm not sure what I think about Agent Denton. She is not like her brother, but seems to... <laughs> Sorry, seems eager to prove something something. I'll let the hack uh, reload. I mean, I don't know when we find... Yeah, <laughs> Denoten. <laughs> I mean, Gunther, Gunther was typing stuff wrong too on his emails. Uh, we'll give it a minute to reload. I'll, I'll take... Oops. Oops, shoot. Take some of these things. Oh, oh wait, that's... We want that. We want the darts. And how's that looking? We can hack again. Not lethal force on the crate. Yeah, man, that's, that's what we're doing. Hey, starry eyed demon girl. Uh, shoot. Uh, uh, eager to prove that she may be better than us, I wonder if she understands what's at stake here. Gunther. Oh, 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 Gunther sent that to Anna. Oh, okay. I don't know why I assumed Anna wrote that email. That makes sense that the spelling was bad. So yeah, Gunther says... See, now Gunther's saying that, like, oh, JC is trying to prove that they're better than us. But, like, we're not eager to prove that we're better than anyone. We're eager to prove that, like, we're doing a good job for the company. Or not company, the organization, you know? So I don't know why... But Gunther, he did say, I don't know what to think of JC, so... <laughs> you know? <laughs> Uh, Anna's just gonna find her chair sitting up on top of the desk. We're, we're committing crimes here. Um, let me see if I can get her. It does it does tick down fast every time you do it. Let me see if I can get her other email. Uh, from Manderly, mission objectives. Uh, primary importance of the upcoming operation of covering all of the stolen Ambrosia. If it falls into terrorist hands, it could be a potential tool for blackmail. That could pose a sec serious security risk. However, our best intelligence indicates that John Lebedev- Oh! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! We're cool, we're cool. Hi. Oh, they don't care, right? Okay. Oh no, I'm, <laughs> I'm locked out! Oh shoot. I kind of want to- I kind of want to read the rest of that email, because Manderly wants us to- Okay, so anyway, what happened- what happened was that um, we had this mission to recover the Ambrosia. Paul was supposed to handle it, but then Paul went missing during the mission, and everyone's kind of like, what happened? Like, you know, and, and Gunther's saying, oh, Paul's a coward. Paul is, is timid and not taking his job seriously. And and uh, I am personally, me personally, I'm worried that something bad happened to Paul, but everyone just kind of assumes that Paul is really bad at his job and, and you know, he lost the Ambrosia and, and screw him you know I'm, I'm worried you know i'm like the only person who's worried about paul going missing during that mission but anyway uh <clears throat> let's see what else manderly has to say to anna if we increase our computer skill we can hack faster but luckily no one came in guns blazing uh <laughs> after we did that um <clears throat> Uh, John Lebedev, a known terrorist leader, is behind the galling attack. While the loss of Ambrosia is a regrettable and salvageable incident, uh, Lebedev poses a continuing threat to Natco. And we did actually find another message about Lebedev, right? He's got like an airport. I know I could screenshot it and then read it, but like, <laughs> we're doing this the real way. Oh, you can hit the escape key to close it more quickly. Keep that in mind. Let's just put more stuff on her desk while we're waiting. <laughs> Anna, I don't know what to think of JC Denton. She seems eager to prove that she's better than us. Also, she keeps, like, making piles on our desk. JC Denton's mom! <laughs> Welcome to stream, JC Denton's mom! <laughs> Actually, we're using the Lady Denton mod. Uh, oh. <laughs> we're using the Lady Denton mod um, to, to play as the female protagonist. But yes, hello, mother. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> A bomb. <laughs> but how are you doing? Uh, welcome on into stream. I don't think that you're actually my mom, IRL. 
I don't think my parents know I'm a streamer. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can finish reading the rest of that email real quick. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I assume you, you found my stream through the Deus Ex tag. <laughs> and I assume you're a Deus Ex fan yourself. Okay, um, um, mission objectives. Um, he is a dangerous man, and if the operation should result in his termination rather than capture, he is no doubt- there's no doubt that the agent responsible will be found to have acted appropriately and with full force of the law. JM. Okay. So, uh, we have to go and- well, Unatko wants us to kill, uh, Lebedev. Got it. <laughs> well, that's great. This is kind of my first playthrough of Deus- I mean, it is my first playthrough of Deus Ex. The only part that I'd already played in the past was like the very beginning of the game. So all of this is new uh, to me, and, and that's why I've got a, a big no spoilers rule. Uh, now, this guy should have different dialogue for us this time because we are doing it non-lethal. Your mom used to think Deus Ex was porn on her computer because of the file said Deus Ex. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I have to be careful the way I say the name of the game because I think people misheard me sometimes when I was saying I'm gonna play Day of Sex. I think people thought I was saying something else, <laughs> like Day of Sex. I'm like, the Fedora, what? I thought your streams are PG-13. So I'm trying to be very careful how I say the name of this game, but yeah. Alright, so this guy should have different dialogue for us. Um, so so uh, Denton's mom, what you missed... I've been playing this game for a couple weeks now, but I kind of accidentally i was trying to do non-lethal but i accidentally killed some people and, and i kind of messed up some missions so at off stream uh we ended up kind of redoing the whole first chunk of the game so now we're doing this actually non-lethally as much as we can anyway <laughs> it took you forever to beat the game because your mom kept deleting it <laughs> so marvelous in addition to an accuracy weapon modification i've got a couple of multi-tools Mr. Carter, can I ask you a question? Certainly. I'm getting the impression that Inako is focused more on military operations than law enforcement. The focus has shifted lately, I agree. The only way Anna would have been satisfied was if I executed every terrorist in Castle Clinton. The standing order seems to be shoot to kill. Direct intervention is always part of the game. In my day, we were just more civilized. About mm. Civilized. That's the word. I guess I was expecting a little more class from the world's anti-terrorist organization. We just have to strike a balance. Mm. Why don't I throw in an extra clip with those multitudes? I trust you will be able to judge when one or the other is appropriate for achieving mission objectives. I can't carry anything else right Oops. now. Hold on. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, so yeah, I like actually like that. When I played this before, we accidentally did some lethal... Well, I was confused what happened that time because Anna is the one who killed people and they're acting like JC did it. Uh, so doing it more carefully this time, uh, I like that... For one thing, I like that JC is finally questioning the authority. She's finally like, oh, maybe we shouldn't be doing murder, Unatco. Maybe we should be more, like, civilized. Uh, and also, this guy is less angry at us. Um, I think before, um, he was just like, wow, JC, you don't know what you're doing. You're not getting any extra stuff from me. Here's a couple of multi-tools, but, like, <laughs> you're not getting anything extra because I can't trust you. <laughs> Some of those folks need killing. I mean, Walton downstairs in the interrogation room was pushing it. He's pushing it, but I couldn't I couldn't even knock him out because uh, he's got like a force field. So what do we want to drop? I might kill... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> like, we don't need this. Oh, right. We got to do the... We got to do the Og canister. Um, oh, we did get the uh, thing from Smuggler this time. Okay. Here, let me... Um, what? We don't want the clip. Oh, we found them. I don't remember. You did that playthrough so fast. I couldn't even keep up with it. <laughs> yeah, Lady Flip did great. She Her inventory management skills are really good. I mean, she also kind of has... She remembers this game pretty well. Uh, Pepper... Um, I know you guys said that the, the extinguisher is good for the, the laser trap, the tripwire thing. Um... We didn't... Okay, here, let's just... Ready to load up? Yes, sir. Oh, baby, let's load it up. Oh, yeah, we don't need the pistol. You're right, we don't need the pistol. Whoops. <laughs> Do not open fire in the middle of your Natco. Uh, drop that. And... Okay. 
Unless, can I just hand it, hand it to this guy? Because he's like the. Aw, he's like the armory guy. Um. Okay. <clears throat> so we read the stuff in there. Uh, is Janice? No. Okay. Anyone in here? <laughs> I'm glad you guys like that being the new emote. Oh, did we? Wait, let's try to talk to talk to Janice while she's here. Welcome aboard, Agent. Wait. I'm Shannon. It's a pleasure to meet you. I thought we already talked to Shannon. I thought I said she was Janice. Her name's Shannon. I thought we already talked to her before. You're friends with Jaime, right? <clears throat> he sure did a good job with the casualties tonight. What casualties? I've heard that Manderley is more than satisfied with your performance so far. If you want some extra supplies, <laughs> you might check the false floor in Jacobson's office. One of the janitors has sticky fingers, if you know what I mean. We know what you mean. I've heard that Manderley okay, is more that. than she satisfied for us. with your performance. So Don't listen to what they're saying about the shootout in the park in Hell's Kitchen. You had other priorities. Oh, yeah. So the other thing that happened last stream was that we went to New York and there was this whole like shootout. And Paul was Agent? like, hey, I can use your help. Um, you know, if you can get down there and help us with the with this, like fighting the NSF guys. <clears throat> but we kind of got distracted going into his apartment to grab stuff. And by the time we left, the shootout was over. So I think some people are disappointed in us for letting things go bad, especially with Paul going missing in the last mission. Um, but they told us to hang tight. Objectives remain apparent. I'm hoping we can save him and he's not going to be like, we don't just like <laughs> go back to New York and find out that he's just deceased. But I mean, we'll find out. Um, we love Paul. He's a sweetheart. He's like the only guy in here who isn't all about like gung ho about murder. Uh, oh, Medbot. Actually, these guys first. I took a few hits tonight. The doc had to operate. Well, get well soon, soldier. Aw. Yes, sir. I will. Thank you. Dr. Reyes said they took the bullet out, but I still feel it in my stomach. It's like a piece of ice. Yee. He also said I lost my spleen. Ew. Dr. Reyes said they took the bullet out, but I still feel it in Never my stomach. Never should have transferred. This dude's going to be augmented soon, too, I bet. Thanks for talking to my friend. He admires you. Aww. Oh, that's right. I need to add... So how about you guys redeemed redeemed uh so you guys redeemed data cubes. I need to <laughs> need to add that to my notes. Let me pull up my uh <laughs> So I have a redeem where you can uh, make me add something to my notes tab. So we had uh, I have to re re add re add one of these and then one of them's new. Oh also I love that this version of the game you can actually search your notes, which is pretty cool and it actually has them like organized. Uh so how do we do add note? Okay, uh, the first one was from Kavi, who wanted the UNATCO troops look up to you. Added. And then we're going to add... Uh, <laughs> I think this one was kind of a joke, but they redeemed it, so I got to do it anyways. Uh, someone wanted, reminder, remove the data cube redeem, <laughs> because I forgot to turn it off uh, <laughs> before, so I was like, I'll just leave it on and I'll just add them during Deus Ex stream. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the head crab. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, your redeems have been fulfilled. I keep assuming like enter is gonna like add it, but okay. Your, your redeems have been done. <laughs> and if you want more, feel free to uh, add them and I'll, I'll add them as soon as I... <laughs> I'm augmented with head crabs, exactly. <laughs> uh... Wait, let me move my window around so I can actually see what I see my Twitch window and my redeem window and all that good stuff. Okay. Now we go back to the game. <laughs> I knew what I was getting into when I joined up. Looks pretty bad down here. Keeps getting worse too. It must be raining bullets out there. The NSF aren't kidding around. How are you holding up? Fine. I lost one of the privates because a refrigeration unit went down. That's always hard. You've got a lot on your hands. Don't beat yourself up over faulty equipment. Mm -hmm. By the way, we aren't in such shambles that we can't spare a few med kits. Check the storage closet. Oh, thank you. You certainly made an impression on the troops tonight. Non-lethal, baby. Looks like it's going to be a late night for both of us. 
<laughs> Thank you for that. I'm glad you like the head crab. By the way, we aren't in such <laughs> shambles that we can't spare a few med kits. Jack Better I take a bullet than an innocent civilian. Aww. Oh uh, yeah, the head crab was from when I was doing Half-Life, and then I I figured I would just turn it on during my Half-Life streams, but people liked it enough that I decided I'll just leave that one on too. It's funny during my Half-Life streams though, because I get jump scared thinking it's a head crab in the game. Uh, did we read this one? <laughs> <laughs> no unauthorized pets in the facility. <laughs> uh, and I do play this game pretty slowly because I want to kind of soak in all the lore. Um, so we're going to read everything. Um, <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> medical Management of Biological Casualties Handbook. U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases. He's... He's de-beaked. <laughs> in, in addition to their de-beaked and completely harmless. We'll be doing Half-Life 2 uh, pretty soon, I think. <laughs> um, in addition to their detrimental health effects on targeted population, the biological warfare agents would likely cause significant impacts on the medical care system. <laughs> Massive numbers of patients and demands for intensive care would overwhelm the medical resources. Special medications or vaccines are not generally available and standard pharmaceutical stocks would be required. Medical care providers and laboratory personnel might need added protection. An autopsy and internment of remains could prevent hazards, pr could present hazards not commonly dealt with. <coughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shoot, we need the, the where'd the medbot go? Where'd the medbot go? Medbot. 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 Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Come back, come back, come back. Okay, so <laughs> first we want to heal, first of all. And now we want to add our augmentations. Um, I think what we ended up doing was silent running, so add that. Oops. And then we want to... I guess that's it, okay. And now let's see what's down. Oh, we haven't looked at Jaime's computer, have we? I mean, I know we can probably look around and find the stuff, but... He's not going to see me doing this, right? <laughs> uh, information concerning the mechanism with which you refer is available only to those with the clearance thrown 6G or higher. Further discussion of this matter with unauthorized personnel will result in disciplinary action. All specific questions should be directed to should be directed to uh, Manderly. Right, I'm kind of curious about what that's referring to. Let's read this book while we wait. Unatco Handbook, Appendix A. Oh, I think we actually did read this, but we'll just read it, um, read it again while we wait. In the recent years, swelling, the swelling tide of international terrorism, coupled with the enmity between states, wildly varying laws, and an anachronistic devotion to arbitrary borders has resulted in decreasing effectiveness of local law enforcement. To resolve the problem, the neut a neutral agency was required to enforce the international law in an impartial manner around the world. UNATCO was formed with just such a mission in mind, an organization that could transcend no national boundaries and provide security for all nations that subscribe to its charter. Excuse me? Oh, that's why my head crab thing closed. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, for, for founded with the principles of the United Nations as its cornerstone, UNATCO is fair, just, and protects the individual liberties of all citizens in the world. The criminal, the, the criminal thrives on anonymity, but soon there will be no place for them to hide. Victory over terrorism is the prize for our vigilance. Which, right off the bat, you know, UNATCO, they're kind of suspicious. Like, I think they're into, they're into surveillance, they're into being the police of the world. Like, I think JC needs to get a better job. I think she needs to quit and find somewhere maybe a little bit less sus to work. But she, she's got a big heart and she believes she's doing the right thing. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, mech aug question. While repairing one of our mech augmented agents, I located a mechanism in the automatic regulation system that was not present in any of the documentation I had available. I'm concerned the failure of this mechanism could lead to a complete... Uh, uh, sh oh, crap. Sorry, Jaime. Oh, no, wait, they're, they're coming after me now? She's still around somewhere. Wait. 
Wait, 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 wait. Hi. God damn, terrorist. I'm not a terrorist. I'm not. Why didn't. What, no, wait, 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 wait. Dang it. Ah. Dang it. I should have saved after. Dang it. They, why didn't they come after me when I was doing the other thing? And. Oh, God, I'm like all the way back you here. Nothing didn't report to Manderley. Oh, crap. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's just do this real quick. Uh, read that. Now we're gonna save. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll do a hard save. That's a good point. Oh, well. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So let's. Fi I think we might have read this last time, but I kind of want to. I think this is the one about how the mechs have like a self destruct button. Which is terrifying. Um, I'm concerned that the failure of this mechanism could lead to a catastrophic autom autonomic sh shutdown of the agent's vital systems, uh, with the obvious consequences that would entail. I've attached additional scans of the structure and surrounding. Yeah. Okay, I do remember that. So there is. Oh, but where, who, who did he send that email to? I kind of want to see that. Uh, so yeah, Jaime found out that the mechs have, like, I guess a self-destruct button or some kind of, like, weird thing in there that can result in, like, death. Um, and he's like, hey, what is this? And they're like, oh, don't talk about that. <laughs> no one's supposed to know about that. Just keep it to yourself. <laughs> or keep it between you and Manderly. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's horrifying. But I just want to double check who he actually sent that to, because I didn't actually see the, the, uh, Recipient name, Med Directorate. Okay. Okay, so not a specific person, I guess. Okay. So Jaime cares, though. He's trying to not. Um... Jaime, do you care if I. He said we could take the stuff out of his, uh, his storage, so that's fine. Okay. Um, and we want to do... I think we'll, we'll do Alex next week. I think we tried this before and Alex was not in here, which was weird. Like, where's Alex? Where's Paul? Like, everyone's going missing. Where's Gunther? Um, but... Can I... Can I hack Alex's computer? Uh, from Rosie Cross inquiry, uh, the Oracle says, we find your question interesting. We have several references t to the entity, the, en the entity token MJ12, but all are ambiguous. Ooh, he was researching MJ12. Oh, you go, Alex. Oracle, you think that that was on purpose? Do we have the code for this? If we didn't have this code, we could break into it. I mean, I mean, Alex wasn't here. He's not gonna know it was us. Like Alex is usually monitoring us on our info link, but he's not here, so. Can we also turn off the info link? Stop reading my mind, please, Alex. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's fine. Suspicion, that's what I'm thinking. Like, is he okay or is he like being weird? But let's see, uh, he was researching MJ-12. <clears throat> For Alex? <laughs> um. Uh, will be necessary to expand cycles t to clarify relationships of codification of representative patterns before further recognition can be accomplished. This will be time-consuming, uh, fast-working relationships. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we can check the floorboards. I know we checked this before and there was, uh, we found the secret compartment. <clears throat> Alex, you down here? <laughs> Alex! Oh. More stuff? Mm. All right, he's not down here. <laughs> but like, if, if Alex isn't here, nobody's monitoring my info link, right? 
So they're not gonna like, if I do anything, they're not gonna know it was me. Shown a 83.23% favorable re return. Uh, work with file SH187 was very instructive. We will contact you again when the information is collated. Uh, Oracle. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Oh, geez. Did that last line say the Oracle wants to know your favorite color? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Uh, no one's coming. Let's just, like, sneak into Alex's closet here real quick. I probably should check my lock- my key- my, uh, door key, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, they said that the Janner are sticky fingers. What if, like, it's Alex that has the sticky fingers all along, you know? leave him a little note and be like hey bro hope you're okay it's your it's your boy jc talk to you soon love ya all right <laughs> uh-oh uh what uh-oh uh-oh <laughs> okay okay we're fine we're fine oh god <laughs> body i didn't know his door opened inwards <laughs> Um, all right. Now we did. There, Anna. Sam. Okay, we did this. We can go to the next. Agent Navarro was grinding gears over how you handled Castle Clinton. Ha! Not hard to flip her switch, is it? <laughs> I'm amused by Anna being pissed at us for not murdering people. She's just mad that we didn't just go in guns blazing. Let her seethe. Okay, nothing in here. Hey, I thought it was your turn to go in. Why don't you go in? Okay. Uh, let me just finish. I think, I think we read most of this stuff on my playthrough, so we just not... Uh, oh yeah, is anyone in the break room? Is Gunther in here? No, just a bunch of guys. I heard about the raid. Don't sweat <clears throat> it. I'm sure Paul had his reasons. I mean, I hope he's... No one's going to be worried that, like, what if Paul got kidnapped and murdered? Wait, what? Image M Millennia Magazine. That's it? There's not... Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that newspaper's gone. The conspiracy newspaper's gone. I wonder if that's on purpose because they don't want you Natco people reading right. reading conspiracy. They've got some kind of specialist from Washington downstairs. Somebody to interrogate the prisoners. Can anyone like go and like make sure the specialist from Washington isn't murdering prisoners? Okay, I think. Oh, did, I wonder if the, these notes change at all. I don't think so. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh! Oh, yeah, Elon Musk, okay. <laughs> I see. Uh, will Aquinas change the world? Experts debate a uh, world of unlimited bandwidth. Uh, resurgence in world terrorism. Okay. Look at this. Look at this jerk. Boo, Bob Page, boo! Stinky! <laughs> okay. Interesting. Did we read this before? Oh yeah, we did. Okay. Um... This is our office, right? Let's go and check- Oh no, this isn't- This is- Is this us? Oh yeah. 
Uh, hi, May. Uh, congrats. Congrats on surviving your first mission, Fedorasaur. That's me. Uh, I know it's all part of the job, but I'm glad to see you back in one piece, more or less, anyways. If you get this message before I get a chance to see you in person, then get your ass down here so I can patch you up. By the way, I hear a few things from up top, and I get the impression that they were definitely taking advantage of the NSF attack to evaluate your performance. So far, everyone seems to be ecstatic. Well, everyone except Gunther, but he's got his own problems. Keep it up, keep it, but keep an eye out too. I get the impression that sometimes, some, I get the impression sometimes that everyone here has their own agenda. I may, oh, I may. So yeah, this is something I was kind of sad last time that Gunther is not really happy about us, but it seems like you get this email regardless of how you handled the mission. Uh, he was definitely happy with us. Um, the way we got his approval in the first mission was to give him a weapon when, when we saved him. Um, he got mad. I guess he was mad that I didn't give him a weapon when I saved him before. He was not impressed about us wanting to go off and, and handle it ourselves. But this time he was happy with us. I think he's just, like he said, he's got his own problems. But um, And then Paul sent us this one. Uh, watch your back. I don't have much time, so I'm going to have to cut this short. They're going to tell you a lot of things that went on today, and it's probably all going to be pinned on me. I've got my reasons, but I can't go into them right now. Not over the net. But you've got to trust me that there are reasons. Maybe I can point you in the right direction. Tap a few computers and see what you can come up with. Try Manderley's computer if you can risk it. The password is night underscore killer. Uh, you might also check Navara's, but I don't have her password. Cold woman. Be careful around her. And for that matter, everyone else. Ah! Ah! Paul, what happened? <laughs> Paul! So yeah, I mean, I trust Paul. If he says that, you know, they're gonna try to blame him for losing the Ambrosia, then I'm gonna trust him, but... Um, I don't want to do Manderley yet, because I feel like that's gonna put us on our next quest, and I want to see if I can get anything else while we're here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the heads up. Right, right, right. My body blocking it again. Oh. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Wasn't there something down here? I feel like there was another floor. Oh wait, this like this but the fourth floor is like Wasn't there another floor? But it's like all like off limits anyways. I think Mr. Simons wants to be alone with the prisoner. Yeah, Mr. Simons can just vibe. Oh, behind the med bay, thank you. We probably still can't go in there, but I'm curious if anything changed. Wait, what's that? Oh my gosh, I can... Uh... Here. You know, I know we're spending like the whole first hour of stream just doing lore, but that's sometimes that's how this game goes. Let me see if anything changed down here. Um, want to pick the mirror? Oh, Kelvin, Ke Kelvin Shadowwing. Hey, welcome on in. You were you were in Lady Flip's stream the other day. I'm glad you could make it. She's actually going to be playing. You're the one who made the uh, the penguin game. Uh, that she'll, she'll be playing that later today. Okay, I'm actually going <laughs> to... Can we lockpick the... Darn. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> uh, how... How are we? I'm doing all right. Um, we are taking it slow with Deus Ex today. We are... We are... Uh, Trying to find all the lore that we missed. Catch up on the story. Can do you mind? Okay, so we still can't go down there. And then we're gonna get back to the story. I mean, we are in the story. There's a lot of story in this game. But uh, yeah, I'm doing okay today. I really love this game and that's why I'm kind of taking my time with it. Okay, here. Uh, so we're gonna save that because that's gonna probably put us on our next quest. Oh, also, I think I mentioned this on a previous stream. If I talk too fast, let me know. It's something my therapist mentioned that, like, people might have a hard time, like, 
in, in helping with my communication skills, uh, people might have a hard time understanding me because I talk very fast. So if I ever talk too fast, don't be afraid to ask me to repeat myself uh, or anything like that. Um, I wouldn't do that if I was you. What? What, reading the Unatco handbook? What, are you doing? what is this dude's problem? It's a, it's a, it's a Unatco handbook. Compared to talk, not really compared to other streamers. Well, as long as you guys can understand me. Just filling out a report on the mop-up operation. Ooh, can I read your? Can I read it? I saw quite a bit of action today. As someone who likes watching videos on 1.5 or two times speed, not fast enough. <laughs> um. <laughs> Look, ever since we got our hacking ability, I'm gonna be hacking everything. Especially because I'm scared that Unatco is gonna like murder Gunther and our brother, probably. Oh, there's nothing. He's got nothing. So wait, you, you said you're writing a report. Where's your report? I think they give us these things to make sure we don't forget how to read and write. <laughs> What, the computers? <laughs> All right, we'll let him do his business. Um, Which one was this room? Nothing, but I will take the Trank Darts. And... Uh, and backseating is, is is allowed if there's something you want me to check out. Uh, spoilers are not allowed, though. Okay, I think we saw everything. Yeah, okay. Then let's go down. I feel like we're missing a computer, though. I guess there's Mandalay's computer. Actually, there is this guy's computer at the entrance that we can check out. You can probably check it out on the way out, though. Yeah, I guess we just have to check out Mandalay next. Okay. I saw quite some action today. Ate one donut, sat at the computer, there was a bit of dust in the corner, and got one phone call. Whew. <laughs> All right, uh, Anna, you got anything else to say? I cannot wait forever. He will see you when he's ready. I am next. I am losing valuable time. She has nothing to say about that, about, uh, Walton? That's interesting. Mr. Mandalay can see you now. <clears throat> One second. <laughs> One second, ma'am. I want to read your emails. Oh, she's got nothing. Mr. Mandalay can see you now. All right. Now, can we risk hacking Mandalay's computer right in front of him? He didn't care the last time we were here, but he might care this time, uh, especially if the emails have something to do with Paul. That key. Um. Also, what's this? Nothing. Hey, Hello, sir. JC. Come in. Clerical task first. Your op bonus is split between the Castle Plinton and Warehouse objectives. Five hundred nice. each. You get the full one thousand plus two hundred for how you handle the hostage situation in the Battery Park subway station. Nice. Good work across the board. Thank you, sir. Who was that you were meeting with? Politics, bureaucracy, mismanagement. JC, I've got some bad news. The mission failed. What? I would have taken out that Jojo punk, but he wasn't even in the warehouse. <clears throat> Never mind that. He slipped out before you even got to New York. What about the shipment? I'm just going to say it straight, JC. Your brother screwed up. We got nothing, and he's taking the heat this time. The coalition is letting him go. What went wrong? We don't know. He hasn't reported back. The rest of the strike force says he lost his nerve. I think he was trying to avoid casualties. In Hell's Kitchen, instead of clips for the troops, he was issuing tear gas. Whatever the case, now it's your turn. We've got one more chance to retake that shipment. Has it been located? Take the chopper back to the city. We know they plan to put the Ambrosia on a plane, but we don't know which airfield. Where should I start? If I were the NSF, I'd be moving it through the subways. The abandoned parts of the infrastructure. I'll check out the subways. And stay away from the press, this time, <laughs> especially the tabloids. Do I need to quote the manual? Secrets are lives. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I've been waiting for twenty minutes. All right, so this is this Sorry, is Anna, better. It sounds like. 
I would like to be reassigned to Agent Harmon. Me too. Me too. Agent Denton. Our tactics are incompatible. In other words, she didn't kill everything in sight. She could have made a more thorough search for NSF targets, yes. Hmm. A pilot jock is waiting for you at the helipad. No, I want to be assigned to Agent Harmon, please. She will improve. That's what you said about her brother. Let me say this once. That's a sore spot, and you know it. You should have listened to me. Ah, end of meeting. <laughs> you have your orders. Let me get back to work. Nevertheless, I will submit my concerns in writing to Walton Simons, uh -oh. as I did regarding Paul. Uh oh. If you see your brother, send him my way. He didn't report back. Anna, do not. You have your orders from Mr. Manderley. Get moving. Is she gonna go anywhere that I need to follow? Is that better? It. Um, on my playthrough, uh, because I guess we allowed Anna to kill a bunch of guys, she was like, oh, I want to recommend JC for the assassination because JC is really good at killing people and I'm gonna, I'm so supportive of her doing murder. Why are you still here? I don't trust you. Uh, I, I'll go back and grab the stuff. I just want to see where she's going. She's probably going back to her desk. Or is she just going to go into the... Okay. I do kind of like this detail of you can, like, follow all these NPCs around and see where they're going. They don't just, you know, teleport away and you find them back in another room later. You can actually, like, in real time, see where they're going and what they're doing. You have your orders from Mr. Mandel. Yeah, I would like to be assigned to Herman, please. <laughs> I mean, I guess her and, and Dunth are kind of a similar... Um, like, they're both pretty interested in, like, being very forceful rather than sneaky, but... Where's she going? You have your orders okay. from Mr. Manderley. All right, she's probably just going to be... I don't know where she's going, but I'll just, let's just... I know I've been dilly-dallying. Let's go get Mr. Manderley. She's probably just gonna go on a little... She's got a little program trail that she's walking around. Um... We are gonna... Oh, where... Oh, shoot. There we go. Um... Don't forget to check in with Carter and Reyes. So... Here before I before I uh You have your orders. Um He doesn't seem mad. Um <clears throat> uh Anna Navarre report. As ordered, I have maintained a close watch on Agent Denton during our operation in New York. I have found her performance to be adequate to the task, if not without certain occasional reluctance. But it is my opinion that nano augmentations in no way compensate for experience, and Agent Denton quite possibly has a considerable amount of learning to do before she can be considered a fully qualified agent. Agent Herman concurs with this evaluation. I'll make a more detail I'll file a more detailed report when time allows. Oh no, they're trying to like get us fired. No, Anna <laughs> I mean we don't really want to work for you, Natco. I mean, me the player doesn't trust you, Natco, but JC the character wants to work for you, Natco. Oh, thank you for confirming that I don't talk too fast. I appreciate that. <laughs> and sorry about the I'm ad not breaks. Not putting my lips on that. Not putting your lips on on Gunther. <laughs> uh, and here's a letter from I guess W S is Walton. Um, I will be arriving at Liberty later today to survey the situation and assess the visit the viability of the primary subject. Uh, is that us? Are we the primary subject? Uh, unless there are extenuating circumstances that you've so far failed to present to us, it is our belief that the primary may need to be terminated in favor of a secondary. Oh wait, Paul's primary, we're secondary, right? Or do we not really know yet? Uh, continue to profile the secondary's response to authority and mission objectives. If there is any deviation, isolate the subject for debriefing upon my arrival. Ooh. Ooh. Let me get back to work. Okay. 
Oh, Anna. <laughs> she doesn't want us, your waifu. <laughs> I mean, Anna's cool. I just It just frustrates me that I all she wants to do on. is is uh, hurt people. It's just just kind of... It's I find it very frustrating. And it... I don't know. But she, I she said, is... Carry on. Okay, she's back. Why are you still here? Why are you still here? What are you doing? Why are you still here? You better not get me fired. All right, I think we're good. Let's go back up. Um. God, I want to know what's in there. <laughs> oh, do we have the? Nah, dang. Okay, <laughs> wishful thinking. Hope this one turns out a little better. Is anyone besides me worried about Paul? She's so full of water, she's not even getting heals right now. Alright, let's... I think there's this guy up here's computer we can check Your out. Your ready, Agent. Thank you. I think Lloyd likes us. Good luck out there. Here we go. Scaly time, baby. Oh! Scaly time, baby. Arcade Castle just resubscribed for seven months. Fedora 26 starts. Oh, Arcade! How are you doing, Arcade Castle? Everyone check out- Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me pause to see those- Agents coming back in here. Uh, Arcade Castle is a fellow PNG tuber. Um, he, well, they are uh, any number of castle critters. Uh, there's some lore associated with their channel as well. Uh, in in the far future, uh, and uh, uh, it, as the, the, the decaying castle and the castle critters come uh, back in time to play games uh, with you guys, I think they can explain their their lore better than I can. Uh, but a lot of their stuff is very nostalgic. They like like old commercials from like the 80s and 90s, music from the 80s and 90s, movies from like the 80s. Uh, they play out of old video games as well as games I've just like never even heard of. Uh, it looks like they were last playing Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem, which I missed that stream. I gotta check that out. Uh, and there's any number of castle critters. It's not just one PNG tuber or VTuber, but any number of creatures. There's Albi the Bat, there's Cascade the, the Crawderg, there's um, uh, uh, Belle the Cat, uh, who is also named after his IRL cat, Belle, Blue Bell, uh, a very old 14-year-old little baby girl. So cute. She had a birthday recently. Uh, and, and there's, um, there's, uh, oh shoot, oh, there's Clyde the Lemur. Um, I think that I, that I miss anybody. <laughs> there's, there's a bunch of critters and, and depending on what game they're playing depends on which critter is hosting the show. And I just, it's so cool. Just check them out. Uh, and, and welcome on in Arcade Castle. Oh, is that man stuck in the, sir? Okay. Hey, fellas, what's up? Get on the helicopter, Ms. Eden. Simons did not appreciate your interference. These guys are so scary. Please do not keep us waiting. Hey, do you mind like We are needed inside. Please do not keep us waiting. God, these guys are so scary. Are they robots or like and look they're they got glowing red eyes. Please do not keep us waiting. Alright, well anyway. Uh so Lloyd Lloyd likes us. Give him hell, Denton. <laughs> Who those guys? You wanna give them hell? Hold up, Lloyd. Subject is approaching. Oh. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna get pissed if I if I draw on them. Um, oh, I have not actually played System so Shock. I have not played System Shock before, um, but I, I've heard that those are similar, have a similar vibe to the uh, Deus Ex games. Could be something <clears throat> fun for a lady flip to play on her uh, immersive sim game days. Good luck Let me, out there. Lloyd. Do you mind if I? Uh, Should have transferred. Come on, hack faster, hack faster, hack faster. Oh, he's got nothing. Darn. Okay. No Your wonder he's ready, agent. No wonder he's so calm. He's got nothing for me to dig into. Get on the helicopter, Miss Eden. Simons did not appreciate your interference. 
I feel like that's another line where they kind of cropped Mr. Denton into a uh, Miss Denton. Also, did the robots just cough? Hello? Okay. They don't want to talk to me. Gunther's full of it. Earlier tonight in the statue, I bet you had at least half a dozen takedowns. At least. What's he full of? Agent. <laughs> um... Oh, doesn't shoot. I need, um, I need, I need, um, my uh, energy's down. Does, did Jaime have any, like, energy refills or I have to keep using these batteries? You'd think Unatco would have a little energy station, but we haven't found one since, like, the tutorial. Wait, orange soda? Oh, he's full of orange soda. <laughs> I hope he can be full of orange soda. I, th I guess we're done here. Let's go. Jock, who flies helicopters while slightly buzzed. So we bought we bought Jock some drinks earlier, and, and he told us about Area Fifty One, how he thinks there is like a surveillance. Um, like a certain network, surveillance network there. Um, he thinks there's some kind of organization or like a, what did he say? It was like some kind of like corporate thing down in Area 51 We're doing maintenance. We know the NSF I mean, not maintenance, surveillance. Here at one point. Seems like a good place to start looking. Okay. So we gotta go recover that ambrosia. I saw you earlier. They sent you into the subway station. Yeah. Cursor outside the game window, one second. Okay. You don't look augmented. That's the point. We are nano augmented agents. We actually have, uh, we are a new fancy new kind of agent who has, uh, our, our augmentations are mostly internal, like nano machines. Uh, he does have those like kind of little wires and little glowing things like on the side of his head or sorry her on the side of her head and stuff but mostly they're meant to blend in with the general population which is pretty cool we sure appreciate the help tonight Agent. officer <clears throat> now i do want to kind of explore a little bit before we uh get to where we're supposed to go i mean we could just beeline the subway but we lost the battle today. I admit it. Yes, Lord. You at the NSF? Had myself a division, mind you, back when we were the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Years ago. They thought they had us licked. Like they think they have us licked tonight. But look at me. We're God's army. And what infernal devil can stop God's army? Well, you take care of yourself. <laughs> Found me two 30-06 clips. Now all I need is a gun. And then it's me and Satan. Yes. Oh my God. Satan. One last look into the devil's red eyes. Sounds like you served God admirably in the Northwest War. But maybe you should let a soldier from the younger generation take the clips off your hands. What do you want for him? Huh? You mean money? You want to buy him? Well, guess I'd take about three hundred for each one. Uh, I mean, I don't need the clips, but I also don't want this wacky old man be running around guns blazing. Oh, NSF, your brain auto-completes with NSFW, yeah. <laughs> the NSF, what aren't they safe for? <laughs> um, I don't, I kind of want to keep my money, so I'll we just... <laughs> I don't... Also... <laughs> Let me, uh... Fine, I'll use a battery. <laughs> Recharge your eyes. See her eyes glow in the dark, which is cool. Oh. Oh no. Go away. Just. The, um. So, one of the plots of this game, if you were missing the previous streams, is that there is a deadly virus called the Grey Death going uh... around. Lots of people are getting sick, except for like the, the wealthy people who can afford getting like the vaccine, the rare vaccine made out of ambrosia. Hey, you a cop? The terrorist got away. 
Uh, so there's a whole lot of sick people uh, in this town. A young soldier of God. Oops. Is that it? I already clicked on him. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> I like this guy. I'll check back with you later. <laughs> Mother of God. Oh, can we? Make sure we're not missing anything out here. Hey, I'm keeping out of the way, like they said. You don't have to push. Just explore everything. You never know what you might find. Man, I'm eager to see what's in the subway, but I want to know what's out here. Oh, thank you again. My hands get so cold. Yeah, like I said, we'll probably both get kicked out when whoever it is gets back. I live underground. All the same. Think of safer places to camp after all the fighting tonight. Eh, yeah, cops said I could be here. Besides, I ain't camping. I'm with the mole people. Why the name mole people? They call us that because we live underground. <laughs> like they're some kind of superior beings or something because they got more money than we do. Maybe you should join your people. Anywhere underground would be safer than Battery Park. The moles need someone topside. And besides, it's been pretty quiet. I'd rather be here than have the NSF tromping around with machine guns. The NSF are hiding out with the mole people? Yeah, they haven't hurt anybody. We guess it's all right. Mm. I need to contact the NSF. Think you can tell me how to find the moles? Sure. Just give me the password oh. so I know they trust you. Underworld. Yeah, we got Good. that. As long as oh. they decided to give you access. Go to the phone booth in the subway station. The code's M-O-L-E. Oh. That's 665 tree. Thanks. When you get to the Brooklyn Bridge Station, talk to Charlie. He'll get you into the tunnels where we live. Nice. Think yeah, it's remember true, we... the vaccine they got? Think it'd really kill you? It's super concentrated. I heard the NSF talking. They're gonna process it, though. I hope so. I can't go much longer. Wait. The ambrosia is deadly if it's not processed? Uh-oh. Plenty of room around the fire. Aww. Don't worry. We're allowed to be here. Aw. Here, I'll hang out with you guys. Yeah, we did talk to a, uh... Are you gonna leave what for work soon? the mole settlement? You taking new people? Well, well thank you for hopping uh, in, Kev Kelvin. Time. Not right now. I appreciate I you hopping by to say hi. I'd sleep in the dirt, whatever. The thing is, they've got this policy. Uh, no one with the Grey Death can go past Brooklyn Bridge Station. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, miss, really. No need. No, I understand. <laughs> yeah, and you're, you're always welcome to hop in here and, and hope your day at work goes all right. Charlie's the lieutenant mayor. He takes care of infrastructure. I like Charlie. He's always been straight with me. Now, we live in the tunnels west of Brooklyn Bridge Station. It's not a bad place. Lots of good people down here. Cops have been pretty cool tonight. It's little things once in a while that make you feel not so much like a leper anymore. Aww. Ooh, you're a baker. That sounds so nice. That sounds like a nice job. Getting to well, I hope that you get to enjoy some of your food that you bake, and you don't, you know, you get to make a little something for yourself. I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> like, yeah, making food is fun, but like, especially if you get to eat the food. <laughs> but it's nice. I'm glad you get to. Did we talk to you already? I didn't have nothing to do with what went down tonight. The NSF got what they want. That's all I know. Uh, but yeah, so that's, you know, one of the th reasons it's good to explore in this game, besides finding different data cubes and lore, is you can meet people who can help you uh, in ways that are maybe the indirect way of solving the, the problems and learning more about the the group of people that you're working, trying to help, you know? Or trying to help the, the regular old folk. But yeah, I think one of, the, one of the end things NSF is, well, they claim that they want is to take the vaccine and give it to the people. Uh, now, whether we can actually trust that they're going to do that is, is a different story, but it seems like maybe their heart's in the right place, even if they are 
kind of going about it in a sort of a bad way. A young soldier of God. Oops, I keep I keep clicking on this guy. Oh my gosh. I'll check back with you later. <laughs> Ooh, any dough that gets messed up, you get to make something for yourself. Turn oh. bagels into pizza. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm sure that means you can't just accidentally mess up lots of dough, but you know. <laughs> Okay, so we need to go to the subway. Let me just check out if there's anything else that changed here. You gotta... Probably not? Oh, who are you? We made a sweep of the area. No sign of the NSF. Okay. Mmm, <laughs> pineapple pizza. I wonder if JC Denton does like pizza. Like, does I, mean, I know he eats chocolate bars in the game, but like, do you think he likes real food, or is he just like, it's like, oh, whatever, as long as I get my nourishment. He eats his little soy, his little soy packets. We've got the secret passage sealed up, sir. No, don't seal up the secret passage. They call it a bolt hole. It's probably been part of the fort since it was built. <laughs> bolt hole. A whole tray of cinnamon rolls got smashed when the rack tipped over. Oh god. The dough that didn't end up on the floor still mashed up, stuck it together, and made a cake. Mmm, that's a way to do it. Oh no, they really did. Oh no, we, we can't. No! The secret it's passage. Right. How could you? Also, I don't have swimming, I know, but is there anything for JC down here? Oh god, my oxygen is. Okay. Uh, anything. Anything for JC down here? Anything? I know they say swimming is not a useful skill in this game. But, uh... You know, what if there's something down here? We also drowned because we tried to travel down a tunnel that was ended up being way too long and we couldn't uh, come up for air. <laughs> Vanilla cream cheese frosting. Whole lot of nothing down here, huh? Oh, oh, oh no, oh no! Whoops. Okay. All right, we're on the edge of the map. It's not letting me go farther. Whoops. That's one thing I don't like about this. It's like they put you on like a harbor. This like, happened twice. They put us like on a harbor and put us near water, but there's like nowhere to go. Like, yeah, you can swim, but like it doesn't take you anywhere. It's, like, what's the point? <laughs> like on Liberty, Liberty Island, they should have let you be able to swim across to the other island, but you can't because like the, the edge of the map stops you. <gasps> But I know there are versions of this game uh, that actually remove the swimming skill entirely and switch it with uh, athletics. It's like a mod, but um, I I'm curious to see like if you max out your swimming skill, what you know does that change anything interesting? Uh, I'm guessing we can't go in there. Who are you? Take out ambrosia. I know they have some barrels of ambrosia. But they said it's gotta be processed, or it'll kill you faster than the Grey Death. That's that's actually some new intel. We just assumed Ambrosia was this like lovely little thing that helps cure you. We didn't realize that the barrel of it. A kitty! A kitty! Baby! Oh, come here! You have to act aloof if you want a cat to come to you. seeing a cat here before. Please, kitty, I'm acting aloof. And you can see the green icon means they're friendly. Hi! Oh, look! It's a baby! Hello! Hello, can I pet? Oh, no! <laughs> okay. He's busy. Oh, that made me happy. I like, I like seeing little critters in games. I think we scared him off. I can't go back in. Except for that one barrel of ambrosia, there's been no sign of the shipment. Don't tell Navara. We've let some of the bums back into the park. 
They don't have anywhere to go. Oh my God. Implying that Anna would like murder unhoused people? Y'all. You've got to do something about that lady. This whole place just got shot up a few minutes ago. <laughs> you gotta look like you're busy and need your hands for keyboards. Yeah, it's true. Uh, my, one of my brother's cats uh, is like that. Like, if you're not paying attention to him, he'll like start trying to get in your lap. It's really funny because like my dad, he doesn't mind cats, but he doesn't like it when they like climb up in his lap and stuff because like cats just generate so much heat, it's just like really uncomfortable for him. <laughs> so my brother's cat, he, he was trying to climb on my dad and it's really funny. <laughs> like he'll, he'll just like deliberately try to like ignore him and like push him away, but then he keeps, it makes him more interested in sitting with him. It's really cute. <laughs> I'm like, no, you gotta pet him. Like he's not gonna just like walk away. <laughs> I love, I love that cat. I mean, all my brother's cats are really cute, but like <laughs> Lazarus is very funny. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's like my dad doesn't get mad at the cat, but just kind of like, oh my God, here he's coming back again. Oh no. <laughs> like just makes a beeline for the person who's not looking at him. <laughs> just like, please, please human pet me. <laughs> I love you human, please. All right, so they said go in the subway and we are putting in the mole people code. Is Paul still stuck in front of the door? No, he's gone. Okay. <laughs> oh, I guess this is it? Let's see. All right, see you, Kelvin. Have a good one. Uh... Six, six, five, three. Also... Did it save the notes that I added from you guys? Oh yeah, they did. We did. Oh, actually, I actually have new note with nothing in it. That's okay. I was making sure that the save took. Okay. All right. So we want six six five three. Make sure no one's looking. Actually, is there anything in here I need to grab before we do that? Hey, you're Unatco. Who's asking? I heard about you. I work for Unatco too. Freelance. I get paid by the answer. A real patriot. I see it like this. It all balances out. Yanako is just as much gun freaks as the militias. If everybody's gonna shoot it out, fine. So long as neither side wins and takes over the whole country. Mm. The goal of Yanako is not conquest. It's the safety of ordinary people like yourself. I know an army when I see one. Look, I'll be blunt. Got any cash? There's a secret passage behind that phone booth over there. For 500, I'll tell you where to get the code. No, thanks, Harley. We already know. Booth, but thanks. Is that the guy who got mad that we didn't ask for his help um, at the docks? Also, what's back here? Also, Dr. Butt Doctor, welcome on in. How are you doing, Dr. Butt Doctor? Doing a little deus ex today. For another half hour or so. I know we might be getting a little too lost now. Just gotta see if anything's changed since we were last here. You never know. We are taking it slow today. We are continuing from the save file that Lady Flib helped me make uh, to do things completely pacifist. And also Gunther had a good first impression of us, which was very nice, very happy. Even though he's kind of unhappy now because he's getting a real sense that Yunatko is trying to replace him and him and Anna have, as much as they are, you know, happy with JC, like, doing her best they're still like well i think jc is like actually just trying to show off and and like show how much better she is than us and i'm kind of sad about that but you know i understand like you know imagine if you're in gunther's shoes you've been working for this organization for a really long time you're like one of their favorite top agents for a really long time and you've altered your body so much with different augmentations like over the years uh and then all of a sudden the new model of iphone comes out uh, named Paul Denton slash JC Denton 
and you know and they're all like hey look at this new look at this bright-eyed bushy-tailed new uh agent look how cool they are they can blend with the regular population they're so powerful and they don't even need years of experience because they've got the they've got the augmentations they got the technology they're so cool and you know it kind of gets to you you know like Anna was like yeah I don't think I don't think having technology is equivalent of having experience and I don't really trust JC now we don't really like how Anna's Anna handles things with violence but you know I kind of get I kind of get the uh understand why they're not feeling so so hot about it yes we're gonna do it for real this time heroic for real this time all right all right not enough dilly dallying we have we have been dillying and dallying and now we're going to do 6653 to go and visit the mole people oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's cool technology is amazing The mole code lives rent-free in your brain. <laughs> oh, that's why this chapter is called Underground, because we're going to Underground! Oh my gosh, I get it. Hello, rat. Now I hope... I don't know if we can still accidentally step on rats. I'm going to kind of try to be careful where I walk this time. Please, you're getting underfoot. Please. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Hello, fellow mole people! After the quakes, the homeless drifted down here. Junkies, runaways, grifters. There's a DSS file a mile long on this place. Some of them, the so-called mole people, have permanent living quarters in an adjacent tunnel system not on my map. Alex, do you ever think that maybe the government needs to, like, help people who are, like, unhoused and, and suffering from addiction? Instead of just being like, oh, those are the mole people. They live underground and they they do crime. Anyway, this the point of this game is it's a dystopian future, so I guess like, you know. What can you do? Hey man, got any zyme? I don't have any zyme. Just a little bit. A crumb. I said you're out of luck. Oh, we did have we did have zyme before, but we probably wouldn't want to give it to this guy anyway, though. But I'm curious as to what would happen if we still had Zyme in our inventory when he asked for it. Not that I would give it to him, but I'm just curious as to if that would be a different dialogue. <laughs> just increase funding for law enforcement some more, I guess. Yeah, jeez. Nah, stream time is not time to talk about me getting mad about stuff. Anyway, uh, saviorific, holy smokes! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Not the Christian cigarettes! <laughs> Not the Christian cigarettes! That's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Um. Now before I go into the other room, I want to see if there's anything... Any information from these guys? <laughs> it's your holy trinity zone with flavor. I hear the NSF are using the mole people hideout as a base. Are you the feds? We don't need a war down here. I work for you, Natco. Well, the NSF come through here, but they don't bother us. If we need help with anything, it's our plumbing. Mm -hmm. We lost pressure because of the explosions on South Street. Tough break. You tell me about the NSF, and I'll put in a word with the city about the water. The city don't know we got water, and they don't need to know. How about you fix it, and then I'll talk. Yeah, why does... I don't have much time. I would open the valve myself, but there was a cave-in. Utility door's blocked. It's up at the north end of the tracks, in case you want to take a look. Clearing a tunnel. That would require explosives. You've got lambs. It could be done. A lamb would do the trick. It's just that I'm not gonna be the one to talk to the rooks. They probably sell us one, but they don't like people going into their turf, which is the whole upper level. Bold of JC to think that simply asking the government to give the unhoused people water is gonna like make them do that, you know? Hey, can you give these homeless people something to drink? Oh, they have water, let's just cut off their water supply. Like, you know, she's so 
I, I respect JC being, being very like optimistic and and you know. Oh, is this what they want us to blow up? Because we do have lambs. We do have a couple. We got a couple lambs. No, that's not it. Okay. Oh right, right. Use my compass. Use my compass. Um. Wasn't this it? The north end of the tunnel. Okay, well, let's look around a bit. Oh, wait, is this what we have to blow up? Okay. Maybe this is it. Okay. Oops! I didn't mean it. Uh oh. <laughs> I meant to like, I meant to place it, not throw it. But hey, it worked. Uh, let me go talk to that guy again real quick. <clears throat> I tried to clear a path to the door, but I'm not worth a nickel anymore. Oh. Gang runs the whole upper level of the station. Alright, let's see what else there is down here before we start. Alright, that's where he came in. Um Oh. Oh, it's the Midnight Sun. I love these guys. The the Midnight Sun, the conspiracy uh articles. <laughs> Black helicopters, a concern, says Senator. As sightings of ominous black helicopters become increasingly common across the country, from Manhattan to the SoCal shores, many citizens have grown concerned that these gunships are actually a sign that troops may be preparing to mobilize for some unknown action. Certainly this concerns me, said, said Senator Harry Jarvis, uh, Democrat Texas, a member of the Armed Services Committee. I intend to bring this up at our next committee meeting and ask some hard questions. UNAT co-director Joseph Manderley was more skeptical. If black helicopters were really being used for covert operations, then these th then those responsible are doing a poor job of it. Manderley went on to say that UNAT co employed no such aircraft and don't declined the use of uh, declined to pursue the matter any further, claiming that it detracted from the serious nature of our mission. Uh, Joe Green, senior staff writer, and we know that UNAT co has black helicopters. I think Jock told us about that. Home or abroad, vote Mead 2048. Wait, this is an old poster. Does is votemead.org a real website, I wonder? Hello? You you look augmented. Or are you just like a big guy with sunglasses? Drug dealer. What you need, baby? Two Don't call me baby. Uh. Do you know about a gang called the Rooks? What do you know about a gang called the Rooks? Gang? Who calls them a gang? <laughs> Just what I heard. Oh, he is what augmented. Pussy cats? I come within 50 yards. They scatter. Seems that other people aren't so lucky. I always talking big, trying to be players. The junkies found a box of lambs the other day. Now L. Ray puts on the show of being an arms dealer. The junkies? Oh, sure. Only a matter of time until someone's stash disappears and people start blowing up. Hmm. Rock's the name. Anything you want. Uh, can I... Where can I find the mole people? You know where I can find the mole people? Good neighbors keep each other's business private. Do you want to set a price? I'm a good neighbor. You want to buy something or not? Oh, do we have to... Do we have to buy his drugs before he talks to us? I and mean, we can also, like, be a cop. <laughs> I'm with you, Natko. Start talking. Like, no. No, no, no. I also don't really want to buy the drugs, though. I mean, I could buy it and throw it in the trash. <laughs> Fedora, remember to oh. save early. Maybe save later. Often. All right. Yeah, we'll... we'll... We'll buy the... We'll buy the... We'll buy the oh, Zyme. We'll, we'll... I'm a little afraid, but... It's not like we're gonna have to use it, you know? <laughs> I 
You should say you're with you, Natko. Re reload if it goes bad. I'm buying drugs already? No, we're not going to support the business. I'm with you, Natko. Start talking. I ain't going back to jail. Uh oh. Let's try some word association. First word, <laughs> <GC>. Ambrosia. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't going back to jail. <laughs> No! No! Oh, no! 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 <laughs> oh, because you want to hear that dialogue again? <laughs> the bitch ain't going back to jail. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I had a feeling he wasn't gonna trust us if we said we we're Watch from the New Natco. Anything you want. Okay, that was pretty funny. All right, let's see what happens if we buy the Zyme. I'll take a vial of Zyme. Mess you up. I would not like to get messed up. You found a Zion bot, bot vial. Come on, no cops down here. Uh, oh, he's he's not gonna talk to us. No. Oh well. All right. Maybe later. You always want to quote it, but no one would know the context. I feel like I've heard you quote that when I've been when I met you, like when I've been with you. But I just assumed it was like from a movie or something, and not from like a video game. Because then I started quoting it because I heard you quote it and I didn't know what I was quoting. I was just like, oh. <laughs> like, whenever I like do something, I'm like, I'm not going back to jail. <laughs> I'm not going back to jail. All right, well, you got me there. All right, so let's, um, bathroom? Oh. Hello? <clears throat> Typical uh, women's bathroom doesn't even have a little compartment to put your sanitary products in. Um, we've got one where I work, but it's like the box that they go in is like really rusty and doesn't really have a trash bag in it most of the time. So then you have to like get do your thing, you know, swatch out, swap it out and then go into like the main trash can and toss it, which is just, I don't know. <laughs> oh, somebody lockpicked the mirror. <laughs> Not exactly well maintained, true. Who am I to expect good maintenance down here? Uh, I'm not sure we talked to this person yet. I'm looking for the mole people. You don't want to camp with them. Trust me, they're too political. Politics in my video game? I started the mole people. I was there first, and then they made up committees that throw people out just because they don't like the way you look. How do I find them? <laughs> don't bother. They're elitist, and now the NSF is down there too. But we're trying to help. We're trying to help. It stinks down there anyway. <laughs> it stinks down there anyway. I'm a classic example of the individualist. I do better on my own. And the only thing about staying up here is the rooks. One time I was drunk and fell asleep and they put me on the train tracks. Oh my god. The five is shut down. Uh... It stinks down there anyway. Okay. <laughs> Noted, don't fall asleep and get put onto the train tracks. <laughs> the code is woke 9653. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. I like, you're funny. <laughs> All right, let's see what's down here. I know we're gonna wrap up stream pretty soon because I know Lady Slip's gonna get her stream started, but uh, let's just see what all we can find back here. Oh, look at all this mess. Oh, oh no. Whoops. Um, is this what we have to blow up with the lamb? Is there any way we can, oh. I see, we gotta go around or I don't want to get stuck. Oh, come on, JC. Come on, come on. You can do it. <laughs> oh, we'll just, we'll just run through it. Oof, oof, my leg. We got a roasted chicken leg here. <laughs> Go over. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I see. Ooh, we got a lot of points for that. Nice. Wait. 
They're still kind of tooting. Okay, they're stopped. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I love that emote. It's so cute. Oops. Uh, now where's that guy who asked us to do that? Was that you? The water line should be open now. Here we go. Good. Glad to see you UNETCO boys do something for the community. Now, can you tell me about the NSF? The NSF? Yeah. They took over our tunnels. How do I get there? Go to the women's restroom on the other side of the station. Oh. Look for a keypad under the sink. The combinations 5482. Oh. Great. I'm glad I could help you out. Interesting. Okay. And I know MJ was asking if these subway lines are accurate. I don't live in New York, so I'm not sure. But we're going we're gonna to zoom in on this and then screenshot it for later. And then if anyone who does live in New York knows if these lines are accurate. I mean, this game does take place in like 2052. So who knows how subway would have changed in the future. Uh, but let's go find the ladies bathroom. Let's go. I know we're wrapping up stream soon. I can't go over time because Lady Flim streams right after me and I don't want to hold her up. Plus our, uh, oh, there's a guy here. Plus our, uh, we can't like stream at the same time because our internet can't handle both of our computers like broadcasting at the same time. So <laughs> I don't want to mess her stream up, uh, but. I'm going to kill Rock. Uh-oh, what happened? You have a problem? Get out. I got a bomb. Ooh. A bomb's a bad choice for close-range combat. Might as well use it. Uh, Rock says I owe him. He won't even give me one vial for it. What kind of bomb? I think they said it was called a lamb. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Another Golden Deus Ex quote. Uh, we could give him the Zyme, but we don't, we also don't want to encourage drug drug use <laughs> but i also don't want him to blow us up <laughs> this dude seems a little too unhinged ah uh. oh all right let's give him the let's give him the drug i suppose i could part with the vial of zyme if you'll give me the lamb you got some Really? My God, Gordon! <laughs> My God, Let's see Gordon! The lamp. Steampunk hey, fiend raided whatever. with three Where's viewers. Where's the sign? Hope it lasts. Hey, steampunk fiend! I'm sorry that you came in as I was giving drugs to this man. <laughs> I'm setting a bad example. <laughs> uh, sick, sick doggo strutting in. Uh oh, <sighs> what happened, steampunk? Are you you under the weather? Drugs for the drug. I'm sorry, I wasn't going to, but the only other option was to say tough luck, and this guy was threatening to use his explosive. <laughs> Much better. It is sad that we can't really like, do anything to help these guys. Uh, so hello, anyway, hello, steampunk fiend and friends. Uh, thank you for thank you for I that. Feeling pretty bad. Thank you for that raid. Um, what have you been up to, and uh, how was your stream? I'm a Fedorasaurus, the Stegosaurus PNG tuber. Better. Much better. Uh, we are playing Deus Ex for the first time. <laughs> Not sorry that I gave the man drugs. Sorry that you wished and witnessed it. <laughs> no, we're not gonna. <laughs> Do not threaten the raiders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were playing Deus Ex for the first time using a mod uh, to play as Lady Denton. Uh, the original game was going to have a female playable character, but it was cut from the final version. So the fans went together and made a mod uh, with you know its own voice acting, uh, its own um, its own everything, uh, and it's very well done. And now we're just uh, our current mission. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Our current mission is to recover a vial of ambrosia, which is something that's used to cure a uh, deadly virus going around in this universe. And um, the ambrosia was uh, supposed to be handled by our brother, Paul Denton, but Paul went missing in the last mission and we have to recover the ambrosia and uh, hopefully find out what happened to him, I hope. <laughs> what is that child doing there? I don't want to be creepy, but there is a newspaper down there. Can I just read the newspaper without... Oh, we already read this one. Okay. 
<laughs> um, did now did I did I shout you out already? Let me see. Oh, you were doing art. What were you drawing? What were you, or what were you painting or what kind of art were you doing? Tell us, tell us. And thank you uh, as well for uh, for choosing me to raid into. Better. Much better. All right, we're gonna we let's just let. All right, so let's um. They said ladies' bathroom. Traditional sketching of an OC. Thing worth five credits. We didn't talk to her yet. Nurse knew I was sick. She just don't care. Oh, it's really sad seeing all these like unhoused sick people. I've got the plague. Uh, you were doing traditional sketching for an OC uh, fan art design you've wanted to do for a while. Oh, good. Sure, there's nothing anyone in here. Ooh, based on lore from someone's comic. Oh, that sounds fun. It's really great when artists can inspire other artists. Now they said there was oh, there is. There is. Okay, so what was the God six tools? I'm glad we got the code for that. Let's see, we got 5482. Oops. Oops. All right, and that should open. Whoops, and that opened what? It was like a secret, a secret compartment, or oh, oh, oh! Interesting. Oh my, we get so many points for that. Oh wait, maybe we should explore something else before going down here. Um. Hmm, should we explore the other areas some more before going back this way? Um, I'm curious about where those other staircases lead to, so I want to check that out real quick. We can just come back to the here. Doctors in that clinic. They ain't worth five credits. Did you talk to her yet? Hi, honey. I don't handle the money. Talk to Charlie. You want Zyme? Talk to the guy in the corner. His no, name's we're not doing it. that again. <laughs> we only bought the drugs we thought we thought uh, it would make him want to talk to us, but he doesn't want to talk to us. Yeah, let's see what's up here. Oh wait, yeah, it didn't say that they're hostile. Hold up. Oh. What is it? You on Rook's territory now? Just so you know. You call yourselves Rooks? That's right. Up here, it's business. You want to do business? <laughs> talk to Will Ray. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, and you're coming up on an ad break in about a minute. If you're not subscribed, you'll get about you'll get about three minutes of ads, and I'll fill you in on what you missed when you come back. Uh, we're mostly just looking around and talking to people and exploring today. So, oh wait, no, it's the end of stream time. Okay, well, okay, wait, 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 okay, wait, wait, shoot. Okay, here, let me do a hard save, uh, and I'll snooze that ad break because Lady Flip's ready to go. So let me let me snooze that and do a hard save. We'll talk to the rooks next time. That's nah, okay. We can we can wrap it up. We can wrap it up. Let me just go back to my main screen and give some <laughs> the pettings. <laughs> Uh, and let me give give some quick uh, some thank yous here. Uh, congratulations on getting first today, Thunder the Coyote. Um, uh, thank you for the reminders to save Ra Steampunk Fiend. Thank you so much for that raid. Uh, Arcade Castle, thank you for the resub. Lady Flib, thank you for the resub. Um, for the hints, thank you and the reminders to save. I think I might already mentioned that. But uh, Starry Eyed Demon Girl with a three stream streak. Vesper the Bun with a seven stream streak. Uh, and then it looks like a shout out from Lady Flib yesterday. So thank you so much for that. Uh, and Kelvin, uh, Kelvin Shadowwing, uh, you actually followed me yesterday, so thank you so much for that before stream. And uh, I know you're not here right now, but I just want to say hi. And yes, everyone, thank you for hopping in today. Uh, and my next stream will be on tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow morning, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern. I'll be playing more Spyro the Dragon. Oh, thank you for that self-care. Let's do ourselves a big stretch as we finish stream up today. Oh, thank you. Big stretch. 
stretch out your arms and your legs, your your backs. Oh goodness, yeah, I've been having like weird back pain, so that stretch is actually probably very important. So thank you for that. Sit up straight, get some water. My glass of water is empty, but I'll grab some in just a minute. Uh, but yeah, my next stream will be Spyro the Dragon. The heck? <laughs> My next stream will be tomorrow morning with more Spyro the Dragon. I'll also be reading the next chapter of Song of the Sariels oh live on stream. Oh. <laughs> Sir, can you please? Con context. Okay, here, wait a minute. Let me... Here, hang on. I'm gonna, like... I'm gonna go back to the... I'm gonna go back to the main... I'm gonna go back to the main menu. Oh, I'm gonna play the... Here, let's go back to... Okay. There we go. That should be a little bit. That <laughs> should be a little bit better than the the moaning, the man moaning. <laughs> uh, and then my, uh, as well as tomorrow after my reading segment, I'll be doing more puzzles online with everybody. Uh, you guys have really been enjoying the jigsaw puzzles uh, with everybody, and that will be it'll be a fun way to wind down on Sunday. Uh, and then on Wednesday, I'll be getting back to playing Full Throttle, uh, the old point-and-click game about a biker gang, uh, which I've been enjoying so far. In fact, that's where that one sound clip comes from. The, uh, the, um... I might need to make it louder. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I might need to make that sound alert louder, but... <laughs> yeah. And then, um, uh... I guess that's it. More Deus Ex on the following Saturday. Uh, we're going to be getting ready to raid into La <laughs> We're getting ready to raid into Lady Flip. Let me give her a quick shout out, uh, first of all. Uh, she is a Penguin PNG tuber, a Star Trek themed Penguin PNG tuber, and my partner, and my moderator. And uh, we, we love Lady Flib here. And she's gotten into streaming recently, and she's so close to affiliate, by the way. Uh, she's like, I don't know, three followers away, I want to say. Uh, so yeah, go check out Lady Flip. She's gonna be playing Deus Ex today as well. She'll also be playing the uh, game that was made by um, that was made by um, um, oh gosh, that user who was just here. Kelvin Shadowing, yes. Oh, also I forgot to say thank you, JC Denton's mom, for that follow. <laughs> I think I didn't shout you out also. But yes, uh, so thank you and check out Lady Flip for more Deus Ex for indie games. Uh, and, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys real soon. Uh, is she live? Can I hit that? Can I hit that button? And uh, yeah, thank you for hopping in, everybody. Let's just go ahead and... No, don't, don't, don't run an ad break. Quit it. Okay, yep, yeah, nope, she's, she's going live. I want to go ahead and start that slash raid. Uh, Lady Flib, it's going to be a quick send off just because our, com our internet gets funny when there's like... When, when both of us are streaming at the same time. Uh, so get ready for that raid. And thank you so much for coming, everybody. I, I love seeing you guys. Uh, you make me laugh. You give me company. <laughs> I, I might try out World of Horror off stream. Might be way too spooky for me, but I'm, I'm curious about it. Uh, but yes, thank you for coming. It makes me happy. I'm sure you can hear my little smile. So let's go ahead and send you guys off uh, right now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh wait, raid message. Uh, my, my penguin is augmented.